Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero with me, Dr. Munchkin. So last time, we kind of completed the Saiyan Saga, and we attempted, attempted to do this kind of alternate paths. And so I've gone through and done the training since, but I wanted to revisit this. So what you can do is, as you do these fights, and you can see here, Survive a Given Time, which is what we did to get us back on track to kind of the base storyline, or you can wear down Raddus. And that opens up this whole other side-by-side -side quest for us to do. Now, we're not going to do this today. We're going to go ahead and continue with Namek and attempt to do more side quests as we move along. But in a battle, you can actually hit pause and look up kind of the additional requirements to have the alternate timeline be expressed. The issue is sometimes that information will not be given until you've already completed the level at least once. So, we are not going to do that as of right now. We're going to go all the way over here to Namek, which we do get another um, kind of what-if scenario here, and we will try to do the what-ifs. I have watched Dragon Ball Z numerous times, as well as Dragon Ball Z Abridge, which you guys check out Team Four Star. If you have not already, it is absolutely hysterical. But that's besides the point. As we're getting into this, as always, if you guys like this content, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. I got a, I got a whole B button. But yeah, no, I went ahead and did all the training, so I know a little bit more of the moves. But we'll see if that translates into being better. <laughs> Alright, one month. Goku receives an SNS from Planet Namek. Yep. Yeah, Jirobi Sentu Beans. Yeah, I'm fully recovered. Need to go to Namek. And we're going to do the 100 times gravity training on the way. All right. New really covered Vegeta arrives. He wants the same the dragon. Destroying <laughs> Zarbon. Nice. Right, the Ginyu Force is coming. Uh oh, Raccoon. Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. Uh, you little. Punk. <laughs> I love how they don't blink either. <laughs> Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. <sighs> Let's teach you, Shield Punk, why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Yeah! Oh, this is what happens to morons who underestimate the Ginyu Force. He keeps grabbing me. I'm not doing so hot. I haven't even ended the punch. With the the grabs. I wouldn't use spear bomb. Darn. 
All right, we beat Jace. We got some XP, we got some stuff, we leveled up, we're level five. And yeah, my proficiency went up. Hold on, was I supposed to be Jace? Was I supposed to fight Birder? I thought Jace got away and then Vegeta killed him. Am I doing a what if already? So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! This is gonna be good! <laughs> Get in you, sir. I will assist. Damn it. Without Vegeta, this isn't exactly gonna be a cakewalk. I don't remember asking for help, Burger. I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles. But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize. Understood? Strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Uh oh. Change now. Uh -oh. Vegeta, oh why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! Vegeta's ruthless. Now it's time to finish this! Now die! Fool! Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! Bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick. Yours will do, Vegeta. Oh, or nothing. You see the frog? <laughs> what in the world? Whew, that was a close one.
Now get ready. Oh, man. What? Freeze is already here in his final form. Trying to hang on just a little bit longer. You must defeat him. Please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand! For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! And I would just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. I'm wondering if there's a Piccolo story that we can go through to actually fight go the on, lower form of Frieza. Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. It's a retry. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Come up. Yeah. <laughs> 
normal difficulty trying to get used to the, the counters and the blocks and everything else there's the revenge counter no it, it can't oh, it's alive no. I mean sorry Please. freeze is alive <laughs> I advise against placing too much stock in your escape though if you like I can bring you closer to home I think the brat should go next. You! You! Ruthless! Heartless! Bastard! Go! Take Piccolo with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go! But... Do as I tell you right now! before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! We are now the legendary Super Saiyan. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down here? Quit standing around and finish him! This is our one chance! It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. What, what did you just say? Goku, listen to yourself! <laughs> You're out of your mind! There's no point to this! Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! Freeze it took him from me! He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now! 90! Frieza! Just know, the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. With no regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> My apologies for the wait. This is my full power! Then do you want to finish this, or are you just gonna keep talking? I do not realize we were already on Spark Just like I did that Earthling. That Earthling? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare say his name! Do it again. Me. Now listen to me. You have to tell the dragon to transport everyone except the creature to Wait! Don't make that wish! Ask the 
dragon to leave both Frieza and me behind. I'm serious, King Kai. You have to let me finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you. Get that counter going. the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! Oh, those red eyes are pretty cool looking. You fool! Find the escape pod. We found the escape pod. Alrighty. We have cleared the planet Namek Arc. Awesome. But see, like here, right? Defeat him with spirit bomb. There's an alternate path where we don't beat him with the spirit bomb. Like here, we defeated Jace. And so that gave us an alternate Berker and Goku, uh, Ginyu, sorry, rather than the normal path, which is where you destroy Berger. So yeah. And then like there's these things right here, right? It's part of Goku's saga, but we're not seeing these fights. So it's interesting. So if I back out just a wee bit, there's Goku, which we're on cell, but then I can do Vegeta, we could do Gohan, we could do Piccolo, and we could do Frieza. And so they have unique playthroughs to go through, which is awesome. But yeah, we have gone ahead and completed at least our first pass at the Namek Saga. Um, We'll need to go back and try to figure out these other things. And we are getting better, let's say, at uh, playing the game a little bit because we are on the normal difficulty. See, it's like, it has been lowered. But we were, uh, we've been doing the, the normal difficulty as of now. But next time we're going to pick up with the Android slash Cell arc, which is a very fun arc. I do kind of like Cell as a villain, especially especially when you watch Team Four Star. It's fantastic. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Dr. Munchkin, signing out. <laughs>